Hey there folks, today I'm uploading the first Gen 5 Ogres battle that I ever had. My opponent is a guy who I found on the TPX set. His name is Ron Jeremy. If you don't know the name Ron Jeremy, uh, don't Google it because it probably means that you're underage and I don't want your parents looking at your browsing history and being like, what the hell? So anyway, I lead off with my avocado as he leads off with his Zekrom, and he's going to go for the Outrage first turn, and I think I can take that because I'm Steel-type, and I'm hoping that I can one-hit KO with an Earthquake. And so avocado goes for the Earthquake, I don't actually take that Outrage as well as I thought I would, um, and I don't KO, he survives with just a sliver of HP, knowing that I can't take another Earthquake, and really not wanting to lose my spinner quite this early, I'm going to go ahead and send out Gondwana, um, the other really bulky Pokemon who I think might be able to take the Outrage. So this is actually running uh, Adamant Max Attack, uh, Max HP, so this isn't the defensive variant that is more common, just because I wanted it to hit a little harder. My opponent's going to swap into Mewtwo. I'm pretty sure I predicted that switch since it was only a two-turn outrage, yeah, and so I just go go for the Stealth Rocks just because it's going to be nice to have Rocks up against his team. I don't think anyone on his team is particularly weak to it, but just it should uh, cut down on his switching a little bit. Uh, he sends out Mewtwo, and I'm going to go ahead and send out Onion because I really have nothing to deal with this Mewtwo, and Onion is completely worthless, or rather I don't have a safe switch into Mewtwo, and Onion is basically worthless since he's not running a rain team. Um, yeah, my Ludicolo is, you know, was a great idea because it's such a great counter to Kyogre, but if there's no Kyogre, then it's a completely useless Pokemon. Um, I have actually, since I finished revising this team, I think it'll do a lot better. Uh, I basically had a lot of input from the folks over at the Smog on our Rate My Team forum, and my team, I believe, is better now, and you should see it in a few battles. But anyway, down to the battle at hand, I go ahead and send out Booth, my uh, Retroam, go for the Blue Flare, but he sent out his T-Tar, got rid of the Sun, and thanks to the Sandstorm, his special defense has doubled, so it's no wonder that it didn't really do that much. Although it actually did a fair chunk, considering. Anyway, uh, Gondwana is kind of the perfect counter for T-Tar. Um, and so he goes ahead and sets up Stealth Rocks this turn, and he's going to switch out this next turn, quite obviously. I mean, why would you stay in on a, on a Groudon? Uh, so he's going to call back his T-Tar and gonna go ahead and send out Zekrom just to die from the Stealth Rock damage, uh, just for the free switch initiative. I mean, that, he doesn't have a spinner on his team, I don't think so, but it was basically dead already. So Gondwana's going to go ahead and recover a little bit of HP, and right now I'm feeling pretty good. Like, I feel like we're, you know neck and neck and doing okay. I've taken down one of his Pokemon. I feel like I'm playing alright. And the only Pokemon that I lost so far was Ludicolo, who's useless anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and send Booth out here. Basically, I'm thinking that I'm basically trying to bluff a Scarf. He's I keep on switching him in to his Mewtwo, and he's like, what the hell? Why is he switching in a Zekrom into my Mewtwo? My Mewtwo should be faster and whatnot. So, uh, I do successfully scare him out. I go for the Focus Blast here, thinking that he'd send out T-Tar. Instead, he sends out this stupid, stupid freaking Gastrodon. I'm like, oh, well, okay, it looks like it'll 2 a KO, so as long as I don't miss the Focus Blast, I should be okay. So here comes the Focus Blast. It connects, and I'm like, yes, that's a dead Gastrodon. I'm so happy! And then it survives, and I'm like, crap! And it runs recovery. I'm like, crap! And so there's nothing I can do to this Gastrodon, uh, and the sand, no, I think the sand is gone, thank god, but um, I'm going to have to call back Booth, and this is just really not good. I'm going to go ahead and send out Duroc, my Giratina O. Uh, it's an, uh, it was an awesome Pokemon on paper, has so many great resistances, but, you know, 120 base attack in Ubers is really not that great, and I'm not running the best set for it, and as you're just going to see, it's not going to be very good. Anyway... My opponent's going to send out uh, Tyranitar again to kick up the Sandstorm as I go for the sub on the switch. Now, that's okay by me. I think I can KO this guy with an Earthquake, and that should be great. I, don't have, I won't have to worry about his Tyranitar anymore, and I can win the Weather War by getting my Groudon out. And then once I've won the Weather War, Blue Flares will be awesome. Anyway, Earthquake is not enough to KO because I'm not running Max Attack. I'm running this stupid Gen 4 set that, uh, you know... I don't know what the deal is. Uh, maybe it is max attack. I don't remember. No, I think it's 216 attack for some reason. But yeah, I don't KO, so useless. My opponent's going to send out Arceus as I go for another... I actually go for the Outrage here, predicting a switch. I'm uh, not predicting a switch into Arceus Steel-type. I'm like, oh wow, that did a lot of damage. That was a crit. And it's an Arceus. Of course it's going to carry the recover. 
and here he goes for the cover. He's obviously faster than me, and I just got nothing to do to this Arceus. And I'm actually still going to stay in. I'm, well, I'm locked into Outrage, so that's why I'm staying in here. And look at how little that Outrage does. It is resisted, after all. I get I get confused at this point, but this is actually XMB now I can swap, swap out my moves, and I don't want him to get off a free sub. I'm basically leaving in Duroc for Death Fodder. I'm going to go for the Earthquake just to make sure that he doesn't get a free sub or a free Swords Dance or anything like that up. Because my only hope of killing this Arceus is to be able to one-shot it. Um, so anyway, yeah, he sets up another sub. I snap out of the confusion, which is excellent. Go for the Earthquake. But the thing is, he can quite easily recover stall me out at this point. Uh, because the sand is up, and if I'd switched into Groudon, probably the best move would have been to switch into Groudon, because I'm not sure what he's running, but there's a good chance I could have walled him with Groudon. But then again, I'm really worried, since his T-Tar is still around, that if I swap in T-Tar, uh, or if I, if I lose my Groudon, then his T-Tar will be able to win the Weather War and I will have lost the battle. Um, basically, I'm just at this point equating win the Weather War or win the battle, because that's the conventional wisdom. It's not always true, but so anyway, yeah. I'm staying in and stalling, I'm, and he's stalling me out. The freaking awful thing about Giratina O is that it ha has no access to any kind of recovery, not even leftovers, unless you want to run the Sleep Talk set, in which case you're down two moves. I mean, you can't even run Sleep Chesto. But anyway, so Duroc is taking more and more damage, and now uh, his Giratina is going to go for the Judgment, and Judgment has been dealt, Duroc is killed, and that's awful. I'm going to go ahead and send out Avocado here. I'm going to be super duper 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 fast, um, so I'm going to be able to outspeed, and I'm hoping that I can one-hit KO with an Earthquake. Probably not the case. Uh, actually, I managed to scare him out, and that's really what I was going for, because I went for the Rapid Spin. That's going to be excellent for Booth, because now it's going to be able to switch in uh, with Impunity. He's going to go for the Earthquake here, because my Air Balloon is popped. Uh, I'm dead. I actually was thinking that I would outspeed, um, because I am Jolly, and I'm only, what, seven points off his base, uh, base speed? But... This is obviously running a max speed nature, and here I make the stupidest play. I should have gone for the extreme speed. Uh, I believe in this iteration I had enough attack EVs that I could have KO'd his uh, Rayquaza, but I completely forgot that Rayquazas carry extreme speed. So my Deoxys A, which I absolutely love, gets KO'd right away, and that's just awful. So now I've got two Pokemon left, got nothing to do. I send out Groudon, and I'm just hoping that I can KO... Um, yeah, his T-Tar comes out, sets up the Sandstream, I go for the Dragon Tail, just hoping to get a KO on something, or residual damage on something, I KO his T-Tar, and that is excellent. And so now, as long as I switch out my Gondwana, I, and switch it back in, I can win the Weather War. Uh, but, here's the thing, I don't want to... I mean, my only Pokemon left is Booth, and I, if I sacrifice Booth, then I have no sweepers. So I have to leave in Gondwana to die, and I've lost the Weather War even though Groudon survived after, uh, later than his T-Tar. So now I've got no choice. I send out my last Pokemon, which is Booth. No boost from the sun. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Blue Flare, just hoping that he's going to switch into something that doesn't resist it. But if he's got this stupid-ass Gastrodon... And, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and blue flare him, so, yeah, and it's not gonna really do very much. He's gonna be able to recover stall me out if he so desires, but I don't think he's even gonna do that. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna scald me and, uh, end this battle much quicker. So, yeah, I've lost this battle, uh, to a guy named Ron Jeremy. I've lost really badly to a guy named Ron Jeremy. Okay, so there's an obvious pun here. I'm trusting that none of you have already made it in the comments. Uh, let's be mature about this, folks. You know, we're mature adults, at least some of us are. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I got fucked by Ron Jeremy. You happy now?